Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use vidIQ for your YouTube videos. That is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we use vidIQ here? Well, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to vidIQ.com, create your account, and in this case, this is our dashboard here. So by the way, creating your account is pretty easy. You could actually use your Google account if you're not aware. But yeah, again, how do we start using vidIQ? So vidIQ actually offers different tools that you can use here. Like for example, you have the option to start generating topics, ideas, or in this case, you could even use keywords, do some research here for your YouTube videos. But in this case, we'll be discussing the most important tools here to get you started on using the platform itself. So first is going to be the generate tool, which is at the left panel here. It is all the tools that you will be able to use. Now, the generate tool, you have the option to start generating from a phrase or keyword that you enter. So, for example, maybe I want to say create content um, about apples in the wild. So, this is, in this case, it should enter this and let's go and click on the generate button here. And uh, from here, it's going to start doing that. In this case, you're going to click on skip for now here. And from here, it's going to give you some information, like for example, some of the related key keywords here. And if you want to add a further keywords here, you can go and click on add keyword as well. You could also regenerate the keywords if you want to. Now, in this case, we also have the title here. So in this case, filming wild apples in the forest, insane footage. So this is the idea for our title and the description itself. Now, it also includes some tags here, which is a complete package that we could actually use for our video. Now, also, we have some thumbnails here that we could use for our video and some hook here that you might want to save. Like, for example, if you're like, for example, you're doing an intro for your video, so you can say, we could just say, today's I'm challenging myself to capture the most insane footage of wild apples in the forest. So let's see what I can find. So that is, that is just an example that you could do at the very start of your video. Now you could also choose the option here to copy this one or if you want to uh, change a few things like for example, you want to uh, claim, you, you want to change a few things like challenge, or fact, or problem here, or promise, or question. So yeah, we also have our outline here. So in this case, this is going to be the different things that we need to do within our video. So we have our hook, which is the uh, uh, start of our video. So the start of our video is something really important because this will actually hook our videos within our videos. So, so we also have our introduction, some of the sections that we need to do. Now you could also click on generate script here if you want to have a further, like for example, you, you know, don't know what to actually say. You could generate a script here and basically use it for your uh, video. Now you could also copy this one or if you want to regenerate it, just click on the regenerate button here. Now we also have the voice over option here, but in this case, this might take a while to load up, but yeah. So in this case, this is the first tool that we can use here. So basically the actual uh, generation here is uh, pretty simple. Using it is pretty simple to generate. So immediately you can basically start creating videos, just the generate tool alone. Now you can also click on favorite here if you want to go back to this one later on. And you also have the option to preview this if you want to, but yeah. Next is we have our keywords. So keyword is a, a great way for you to know what is currently trending, what are people searching right now, basically increasing the probability of your video uh, trending. So right now there are going to be a lot of uh, keywords being searched right now, like for example, OBS tutorials, uh, community building strategies, community engagement, all those things. Like for example, maybe I want to say, I want to search for Apple here and just press and enter. It's going to give you uh, the overview for this keyword here. Like for example, the search volumes for it, the competition, so which is really high here. And I also have some questions here. We'll give you matching keywords that you might want to view here. And if you want to add or view more questions or uh, if you want to get more keywords, you need to get a boost on your account. But since we're just using the free account here, some things are quite limited. It also have the related keywords here the matching terms that you might want to use and some questions here. So again, keywords are usually being used on titles, descriptions to basically boost your engagement. So since there are going to be a lot of search volumes here, there is a, lo a lot of probability of your video being found. But then again, there is going to be a lot of competition. So it balances out, it balances things out. So yeah. 
Next is we have our outliers. So outliers are a great way for you to get ideas from different videos. So let's just search here since we already searched for Apple. Let's just go ahead and just search another Apple video. As they're going, they are going to give you different ideas for Apple here. Maybe a product or even the a plant itself or the fruit itself. And yeah, ideas is a great way for you to generate ideas. So first is they have the daily ideas here, which is a great way for you to see what is right, what is trending, what idea is trending right now. Also have the save ideas here, which in this case, if you've saved any ideas, so just to give you an example, I want to save this idea here. Let's go to our save ideas, and as you can see, this is the save idea that we just uh, save right now. Now we also have the dismiss ideas here. So whenever you click on the X button at the right side here, let's go and click on yes, I'm sure. It should dismiss the idea and be uh, redirected in here. But then again, it will might take uh, a while for you to uh, basically load up. So let's just uh, X click on the X here, as you can see right now. And yeah, now coach here, uh, think of this as a, from the name itself and the title itself, this is the coach section. So the coach sections actually allow you to uh, get the coach. So. Uh, in this case, it's like an AI that could actually boost. Like if you're if you're familiar with ChatGPT, it's quite similar to that. You could actually ask it to create a script for you. So maybe I want to say uh, create a script for me discussing the benefits of the apple fruit. And just press enter. Now, in this case, it's going to give you uh, the script here, the outline. So if you prefer this type of format, you can use uh, the coach itself. But if you want to ask some questions, you can also do that. But yeah. Also, we have our competitors. Now, competitors is a good way for you to gauge uh, how your competitors is doing versus you. So in this case, you might, uh, for example, you get ideas on what topics to discuss, what topics to avoid, and what topics you might want to focus on. Since if you like do, if you do a lot better on a certain topic, you should be able to see it in here. It's going to compare data from your competitors. But then again, you need to first search for channels here for you to add them. So for example, let's go ahead and search one uh, YouTube or com uh, competitor here. This is an example. Let's go and choose this channel here. It's going to add a competitor as you can see right now. This is how they are doing right now, which is pretty good actually. So, but yeah, in this case, we have our SEO here as well. But in this case, uh, this is quite advanced. So I recommend you to first uh, use the basic ones first. We also have subscribers here. If you want to view your subscriber, but you need to uh, get a boost for in order for you to use this one. But yeah, we also have the create option here, which allows you to create uh, videos. So it's like the generate option here, but with additional steps. So in this case, for example, I us go and click on preview here. Now in this case, it allows you to view a few things. Like for example, I want to use this topic here. But in this case, you could also generate, like for example, if you want to customize it, you could basically customize yourself so let's just click on exit without saving you could create your own or choose from one of the uh topics or outlines or uh templates here so again let's go and click on this one let's go maybe maybe choose this one click on save and we want to go and select this one click on continue and from here you could go ahead and generate a thumbnail that you want but then again for you to start using some of the advanced features here for vidIQ, you need to have a plan. You could also try to free uh, free trial if you want to. But yeah, so in this case, uh, those are the tools that you could actually start using here in vidIQ for free and some tools that you might need to pay for you to start using it. But in this case, vidIQ is a great way for you to start generating videos or ideas for your YouTube videos. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.